is what I'm wearing. Very comfy vibes. I'm literally just popping out to be honest. So yeah, I just wanted to be comfy. It's quite chilly, but it's really nice out. I also need to sort out these boxes and like just put them over um, on top of the wardrobe today. So yeah, I've just got really random stuff to do. I need to go to Boots to pick up some gifts that I ordered online for my friends. I'm going to see them tomorrow, so I'll vlog a bit of that. Um, but my bus says 20 minutes, so I'm just here chilling, waiting for the bus. I'm going to stop getting an Uber at left, right and centre. Make sure to keep watching because I'll show you guys a little haul. I bought so many books to read. I got so many questions on Insta, so... Maybe some of you are interested, but the thing is, I know some of you don't care about reading. That was me before. Like, if someone talked to me about books, I was like, books? I don't read? So I totally get it. So I don't want to, like, flood you guys with, like, reading. I don't want to bore some of you, but I know a lot of you are interested, so I'll briefly go over that. Going into Primark. So they're really stepping up their game with their PJs. I have one like this one, but in, like, a beige. Oh, oh this one's cute i feel like i want it this is the one i have it's so good definitely recommend that one Ooh. i don't know what it is but i get so excited about the home stuff anything cute here mm -hmm. oh look at this This looks like some demonic shit. Three pounds. How much is this one? Two pound fifty. It does feel cheap though. Oh, they have Kylie Cosmetics in my local boots. I used to be obsessed with brown sugar. Now I'm at a Menes. I don't know why I'm here, but I just want to look at the stuff because they have cool stuff. Like, look at all these bras. I want them. gift bags for the girls I'm gonna get these yellow ones they're pounds I used to love these dates I might get these actually one of them is glass please stop I'm at home now and I made that viral salmon rice with uh, seaweed. It's so good. I haven't had it in months so I'm really looking forward to this and I got my strawberry water here. I don't know what it is. I can never put my hair in a ponytail like anymore because it gives me a major headache. Anyways, I'm going to watch The Servant on Apple TV. It's really good. Very creepy. Sometimes I just feel like I'm going at 100 miles an hour. And when you think about it, it's so crazy because like I'm going back to the office now. We have to do three days a week. <laughs> before the the sea started there was no tiktok so now i am managing three social media platforms working three days a week in the office and two other days at home trying to keep my health on point trying to get enough sleep trying to revise information for work and soaking up all the trends that are on social media like it's actually so much and then also forget like making time to like socialize and meet your friends and family like it's actually so much but that's life i guess anyways that's what i mean by going at 100 miles an hour sometimes and i just want to like nap and just not do anything today like i got some stuff done but anyways that's enough of me rambling i wanted to show you what i got mia and nivi because we're gonna meet up for their birthdays oh i picked up this top at h&m i thought it was really cute it's so basic but i don't have anything this color and i really like the the cutout of the chest area isn't that so nice when the girls were over they uh, were smelling the kali new perfume which is the eden one the red one so i got this cute little set and inside you got a an exclusive liquid matte shade by huda beauty and you also got and you also got a mini of the eden perfume oh look how cute that is they can like that is so nice to put in your bag and i love the eden perfume it's one of my like top favorites i think my favorite favorites are vanilla and elixir and then eden is up there i'm just gonna put one each in their bags and then i got them each a yankee candle uh this is i've never seen this one this is a majestic mount fuji and it smells really nice so i got one for each of them oh, it smells really nice just thought that i'd add that in 
as well and then whilst i'm here let's do a quick book haul <laughs> oh my god i've got so many books at this point i am devouring books because now that i'm going into the office i spend three hours on trains a day i've got plenty of time to read and then when the book's really good i end up reading every night as well before going to bed reading a book before going to bed just helps me sleep way better because you know blue light and all that kind of stuff is supposed to it um stops your body producing a hormone that uh, kind of tells your body it's time to sleep so reading a book before bed has been really good i mean who have i become i never thought this i never thought i'd be this person on youtube i'm a new member to book talk to booktube but yeah if you do want more content around books do let me know in the comments below i know some people find it boring some people don't i don't know but i'll i'll figure it you guys out when once i read your comments but like i said i'm currently reading ugly love by colleen hoover so far it's really good i read a thousand splendid sons last year it's really good it's like a drama very hard to read it really is like heartbreaking so if you like those kind of books definitely recommend but this is the book and i will never forget this book but this is the book that made me fall in love with reading so this will always have a special place in my heart i need to get the kite runner because apparently that's really good i then moved on to the split and this was creepy like it's not my favorite but it was a good read so like a dark dark thriller crime kind of book it's written well and i like the description of like the setting now i think i'm a major colleen hoover fan so i read it ends with us and oh my god i think i read somewhere that they're gonna do a film on it they need to do a film on this i was hooked on this book i couldn't put it down same with verity it's so good this was like creepy like this creeped me out and i don't know i just feel like colleen hoover really likes to uh write about like that intense love you know when two people can't resist each other you know like that that intense love like i don't know and sometimes it's toxic love uh but i just love reading about it and it, it gets you hooked and even with to be honest with the three books i've read so far they all have that kind of those like two people that can't resist each other vibe and i love that so, yeah i do really like colleen hoover books read this one read verity <laughs> And I'm on Ugly Love and I'm liking it so far, but I wouldn't say it's, I don't know, it's too early. Like I'm half, almost halfway through. Then I, based on your recommendations on Instagram and also like looking at the best selling books on um, Amazon, I picked, up, I picked up two other Colleen Hoover books. This is uh, Reminders of Him, which is, which was released like this year. So it's pretty new. So I'm probably going to move on to that one next. And the, ne the other one is, what is this? Re regretting you then i got this book called they both die in the end by adam silvera it was in the best-selling list i don't know it doesn't sound like my kind of book but i like i'm trying to like explore and see what i like because i can't be reading just colleen hoover books also got a time for mercy this i got a while ago it's like a crime i think um this one's a fat one so i'm gonna give it a go and see if i like it then got the love hypothesis this is by ali hazelwood they have a tiktok made me buy it section on amazon and this was in it when a fake relationship between scientists meets the irresistible force of attraction see this is what i like the irresistible force of attraction i kind of like that vibe in books it throws one woman's carefully calculated theories on love into chaos looking forward to that one i also got the midnight library i think a lot of people have read this one and i like the idea of it so looking forward to this and i also got the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i've been seeing this everywhere as well those are all the books and i'm on my fourth book this year my goal was 10 and i'm literally so proud of myself of like how much i i've read this year so far and how much i love it this was my stand <laughs> whilst i was filming i got the coconut and lime because everyone bought the lemon one there was none left so i'm gonna try this one and i also stopped at wilco and savers to get all my cleaning supplies like toilet like detergent because you know when you go tesco and all that it's way price like it's so expensive but when you go to like wilco or savers they're like half the price like most of these were like one pound one pound fifty i'm just about to head out i'm gonna show you what i'm wearing I'm wearing that new top that i got from h&m yesterday with my river island jeans and trainers <laughs> I'm with the girlies. Hello. <laughs> Mia is so sweet. She tried to trick us. Yeah. 
and she hooked us up on some daisy jewelry definitely check them out our drinks came i got oat caramel latte what did you get oat flat white oat flat white and maybe got lychee thank you oh that one's cute Oh guys. Should I leave my ugly clip out of the way? No, it's okay. I got the peach one and the girls got the chocolate one and it looks bomb. <gasps> We're trying some Zara stuff. <laughs> Oh, that does look good. It's got like pockets inside. I think. I'm just trying to eat this outfit. I'm not feeling it, guys. It's cute though. Oh, I might keep this actually. Put a black top underneath. My new favorite place. Ew. Oh, I've heard a lot about this one, Thursday Murder Club. You know, when I'm in a bookshop, it makes me think of you. Yeah, when the girl was in the bookshop and he's like, oh, you. Oh, you? <laughs> yeah, you, the Netflix. Oh, you. <laughs> we ordered some Wagamamas. I got my Rasu curry as always. I thought I'd do a little haul because I got a few things. A PR haul and then some bits that I bought. One thing that I was quite surprised to have received was the Lash Clash Extreme Volume Mascara by YSL. I'm really excited to try this and it comes out on the 23rd of February. So I've got early access. You guys know I'm really fussy about mascara so i cannot wait to try this i also got a really cute package from cinema secrets you guys know i love their brush cleaner um smells amazing so i got one of those i also got their all natural brush soap and a mattifying setting spray so thank you so much to cinema secrets i cannot wait to try the other two products i also got some bits from this brand called Alterna. Um, these are hair products. I got the Everyday Shampoo, Jelly Fix Repair Booster, Glow Crazy Shine Booster, and Cool Hydrating Nourishing Mask. Yeah, they're both to be mixed with your conditioner, so that's a bit different. But yeah, I can't wait to try these. A dermal roller. I always buy them on Amazon and I like that this one comes with a disinfectant spray. Got to be have a new brow gel but it's basically like their glue gel that I used to use for hair. Even though me and Mia went to a bookshop earlier today like I was looking around and I'm so like I want to grab stuff but I can't because of obviously you guys know how many books I have now to read <laughs> but I did pick up this one because I felt like I needed to get this one it's called Atomic Habits apparently this is a book that you need to read at least once in your life I'm not the fan I'm not the biggest fan of non-fiction books guys especially now that I've discovered like fiction books and then the last thing was oh my god when I was trying stuff in that Zara like I was not feeling any of it except for this top you guys saw so like the thing that annoys me about zara is that like their sizes run so small i'm going to go clean now I'm, I've been meaning to do this for so long now but I folded all my gym wear and I didn't even know I had this many leggings like I have no excuse to not work out there's more here those are like shorts and those are my leggings these are all my sports bras so 
yeah definitely need to work on me i'm gonna end the night watching twilight i'm gonna take a shower because i put all this stuff away i've got one box over there i also put some up there too and i don't know i'm just so like I, my eyes are like red you can't see on camera but like and when you're just so tired you just need to sleep one thing i'll never get tired of are these facial expressions <laughs> like what what is happening <laughs> there's even one scene where he's like uh hang on my spider monkey and i'm like who put that bloody phrase in the film is literally a stinky butt. I'm gonna cut her nails because she needs her little nails cut because they are hurting me when you, you you want to be with me, okay? You know, I'm gonna wash her because she's definitely a stinky butt right now. <laughs> and you know, when I wash her, like I get such bad allergies. So I literally have to like prep and take antihistamine tablets I have to wear masks, maybe two masks and even with all that I'll still have breathing problems like I'm s it's, and it's, it only happens when I give them a bath you stinky butt Damn woman, you got some long nails. Huh? Some very long nails. Wait, I'm almost done. Almost done. Wait, give me a... All done. All done. See, that wasn't too bad. She's used to it now. oh my god the french toast from christopher's you need to go i got the peach one and i really like that one it is pouring outside and i literally hate the rain with a passion oh my god it was so painful I, I i wanted to just pick a few things um but i ended up taking way too much anyways i'm putting the shopping away don't judge my fridge all done i'm gonna make this for lunch if you guys haven't tried this from tesco like it's actually bomb like the tesco finest slow cooked uh, range i picked this up because i needed something to put my pegs in it's a bit bigger than what i expected but it will do that's all done I'm just ending the night with some pizza and a glass of I wine. I need to I clean up. That's why the it. books are still there. I'm going to head out. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to hit that like button. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.